Hola amigos, buenos días. Dorian here from Hoovalux. Bienvenido, Krosui. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel for today. I'm going to be doing a quick uh, review, demo, and a little bit of maintenance on my um, twin tub washing machine. So I'm down here on the floor because let me turn you around and then I'll show you. So that is the inside of my twin tub. I've taken the back off because I have a new belt for it. So I'm going to fit a new belt. So I've taken the old belt off and I've studied and taken photographs of how it went on. It's pretty simple, but just in case I get any issues. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the new wash belt on the twin tub. Okay, so that's the new belt fitted on. Let me see if I can uh, take a closer look. I'll put the flash okay, on. So the belt goes around there. And then... Uh, the top of the motor there. And then around this part here, which is the pump. It just touches around the back of there. So that's the new belt on. There was a slight movement that I could hear from the inside. So just looking at it from here, it is nothing to worry about, but the inside of it's very good. So the next thing I have to do now is to change the belt on the inside of the spinner, but that has to be done from underneath. And there is a, like a sump that needs oil fitting and in, putting into it. So I'll do that once I've um, put the new belt on. Okay, so I have it jacked up and I'm looking at the underneath of it. And here are, oh, there's two belts. I didn't realize there was two. There's a little belt here and then a bigger belt here and these, are what sort out the spinning action for this but the belts are loose as buggery so I've got a new belt here I've got one belt anyway I don't know about this one anyway yeah this is for the pump I can see it's for the pump this one's actually for the motor so I got a new belt a big belt for this one so I'm just gonna swap the new belt which is very easy, it just comes off. Actually taking it off is very easy, like that. And then out that way. So I'm gonna put the new belt on. Okay, so I've put the new belt on. And when it's engaged, that is what spins the spinner. So it's not engaged at the moment because the lid's up. And then this little one then, that's what acts as the pump to pump out the water. But this, this one, it's not very tight, this will need replacing, so I'll search for a new one of them and then change it over. But this definitely works better, this belt is tighter. Uh, the other belt that I had, which is now here, has all perished and yucky and not much stretch in it, so it'll definitely work better with the new belt in it. Now, there is a sump, which I think is in here somewhere that needs to be filled with oil to keep it lubricated because it sounds a little bit scratchy. So what I'm going to do next is get some oil and then fill up the sump. So the other thing I've noticed as well is when this is spinning, it's touching up against this cable here, which is like the brake cable, and it's starting to cut into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cable tie it to this so that it won't touch on this and cause any more damage to the cable. Okay, so that is now done and dusted. What I'm going to do now is put the back back on and screw it in, making sure that this is there to hold the pipe in place. So let me get the back screwed on. Okay, so that's all done. Back's all screwed on. I'm going to get it into position and then we'll give it a bit of a go. So I brought it inside and here we have my Hotpoint Supermatic Deluxe 9414 um, washing machine and spinner. 
Now, I'll rub this over again, it will come off. Because I put some of the plastic on it, but I'll rub it over again. So, I have put the... I do it in the utility room. I mean, I have a fully functioning washing machine, which is amazing. Um, I hope point to Qualtis. I've done a video on that as well. But this is... I use it maybe twice a month because it's just a novelty and it works perfectly and it does a really good job and it's just a bit of fun. So I have some people say, well, what do you use that for? What's stupid? What and it's simply because I, it's just a bit of fun. It's just like going on an old steam train or dri riding in a vintage car. It is just a little bit of fun. Uh, so, I'm going to take the lid off here, and we have the main washing machine part. This is the fluff filter and the like the lint collector, and also um, where you put your powder in. This is for the if you want to use it for um, putting water in, but I don't use that because my tap has got an extendable shower hose like thing to it so we don't use that and inside we have the paddles big paddle and the drum metal drum with the fill marks for minimum and maximum and then on this side if I press the lid release and lift it up there's the spinner and the mat that goes on the top. So there's the spinner. So I'll just close that slightly. Because if I did that, the spinner comes on. So I don't want the spinner on yet. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to fill this up with water. Now I normally fill it up with uh, hot water if I'm doing a hot wash, but I'm going to do it on a mm, warm water. Um, so I can go through the process a little bit more because maybe back in the old days you didn't have hot water to tap So this heats it up. There's a big heating element on the inside If I unscrew this That metal rod comes out Then the paddle lifts out And then underneath you can see the heating element and that's where the water gets pumped out from. The, there is a little bit of lime scale on there, but it's a lot better than what it was. So every time I do a wash, I chuck in a couple of lime scale removers, uh, tablets, and that helps. But it is it is dis dissipating. So that's the inside of it. I do have a... Let me just go this, which I forgot to put in last time. It's a bit caked up, but... Um, Again, then it doesn't matter. It works fine. You pop that in the bottom and it stops any lint. There we go. Pop the paddles back on. Secure. Put the pole back in. Screw it up tight. There we go. That's secured. Now I'm going to fill it up with water. Put the hose in. I'm just going to turn the tap on. And then we just let it fill up with water. We're going to do it in a big load, so I'm going to fill it up to the mark here, the second mark, the highest mark. So we just let this fill up with water. So we've got that filled up now to the highest mark, uh, to the controls, which are quite easy to be honest. So there are two dials. This one sets the temperature and this one sets the wash. So there we go. So what I'm going to do is I want to set the water because I'm going to do white, so I'm going to set it to very hot. And then as soon as you turn this on, It goes into heating mode and it's going to heat the water. Once the water has reached the temperature, this will automatically go back to wash. 
and the machine will start. So I'm going to set it like I did just now to very hot. Actually, no, do you know what? I'm going to set it just to hot. I'm going to set this on to full. So that is now going to heat up. I'm going to pop this on and I'm going to get my powder ready. Now, if you're going to use this and use liquid tabs or liquid first of all I wouldn't really recommend it because it gets too bubbly um, and if you are I would just put in a little amount um, so I always use this so I use, I use powder and I use Tide so what I'm going to do is get my Tide and pop it in there about a cup and a half. I'm still going to use what I normally use which is some Vanish Oxy Action. So I'm just going to put one scoop of Vanish Oxy Action. Again also onto the top. And uh, because I can and I am, I'm going to use some of these Unstoppables from Lenore, and I'm just going to sprinkle them on top just to make it smell nice. So, there we go. So, I got the powder, the varnish, the unstoppables, and that's all we've got to do now is wait for it to heat up. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like a kettle, so it's starting to boil. So once this has reached its temperature, I'll come back to you. So it's still warming up. Shouldn't be too long now before it gets going. Okay, so it's just started. It's reached its temperature. Um, it didn't take very long for the washing powder to, uh, to dissipate. It's just the um, smelly tablets now that are going to take their time. So just going to leave it for a second to mush up all the powder make sure it's all mixed up really well now in regards to what I wash in it I do not wash big things like towels and shirts bedding that kind of thing I put them in the big machine they're easier I use the small things on this because I find it a lot easier to uh, to, to, to do it, I mean I don't have to do my daily wash, how people back in the day had to do their entire wash with these machines, my hack was off to them because it's, it's, it's a bloody nightmare, no wonder everyone went to um, front loading automatics or top loading automatics, so anyway so that's mushed up enough, as you can see there was quite a lot of powder in there but it doesn't foam uh, so much so that's the best thing about it and you can see the steam coming off. So the first load I'm going to do, or the first load you should do in it, is white. So I've got some whites in my basket and I'm just going to pop them in one at a time. So there we go, they've all gone inside. I didn't have many um, whites to do on this wash. So basically, I'm just gonna reset the timer to go on full. And I'm just gonna leave it do its first time. Now, I put this on twice. So once it's finished this wash, I put it on again. It must be some OCD thing, I don't know. But I prefer to put it on twice. So we're gonna leave it as it is now. I'm not gonna bore you with watching the entire thing and um, I'll come back to you in a minute.
Okay, so it's finished its first cycle and I'm going to go put it on again. And as you can see, it's collected a lot of lint from the clothing, so that works really well.
Okay, I'm back. I just here did finish. So that's done. Oop, that's come up. Done two loads. So what I'm going to do now, if I just tilt you back a bit, is going to spin them. So I'm going to take off the top. I'm going to open the spinner. Like so. And I don't have one of those tong things, so I'm going to use this. I think it's some sort of like pasta thing, I don't know, but it works really well, it's got a long handle. So as I'm putting the stuff into the spinner, I'm going to balance it out. The road sock. Okay. So that is everything from the wash because there wasn't much in there. So I'm going to put the mat on. And we're going to spin it. So we're just going to drop the lid. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll take you off the camera. So I'm going to take, and then the water will come out through there. So if I just drop the lid. was pretty balanced in that, so that's good. And as more water gets pumped out of it, it'll speed up. So it's finished the initial spins. What I'm going to do is take my tap hose and use cold water to rinse it out. Now this does have an automatic feature and it does work but I prefer to do it this way. So I'm just going to finish filling up this spinner. Okay, so for his next spin. I will demonstrate for you the automatic spin feature. All you have to do is use this hose. Connect one end of the hose at the back here. So that's covering it tight. And then the other end of the hose, you 
it's got like a, a thing on it that you sort of like fit over a tap but I don't have that in the utility room so what I have to do is to undo this Take out the rubber seal. There we go, there's the rubber seal. And then put this into the hole inside. Turn the tap on low and you should see the water start to come out of these holes around here. And it's a bit dribbly, hang on. And then what I do is switch this to automatic and then close the lid. setting and then out through the tap. So that's the other way to do it. And as I've got it set up like this I may as well carry on using it like this now. So I just wait now for it because I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to put it on one more spin. Okay, it's just on the automatic spin. Just slowing down. I'm just going to drop in. A little bit of softener. that fill back up again I've got some intense ones so it just needs a little bit flick it back to spin because it's his final one Good to fill up. I always turn it up a little bit warmer for the last one, so it's a little bit warm for the last for the last one. There we go, that's filled. So I'm going to turn off the tap and then close it now for its final spin.
the new belts on it have definitely made a difference. I'm just holding on to it. You'll hear the pitch change as it speeds up. Still pumping out lots of water. Gaining momentum. water coming out. Slowing down a bit. The spin speed on these are incredible. Even better than my newish washing machine. They spin so much faster. Now that I put the new belt on it and lubricated it, it sounds so much smoother as well. Okay, we're done now. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, wait for it to come to a complete stop. Release the lid, take out the guard, and you come to close. I'm not showing my pants. 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 Socks. Okay. No, nope, more pants. Why am I telling you what I'm pulling out? Anyway, oh, here we go, a shirt. So here is a polo shirt, my work polo shirt that I've done and it has come out relatively dry and really clean mm, that smells really nice as well so that is the first load done all extremely clean and um, not just damp just just a bit damp that's all that they've come out as so I'm gonna go and peg these out on the line. Okay, so now I've done the whites, what you can do is put the outlet hose into this hole here, and then that feeds the water back into it. But because the water was quite hot, I need to cool the water down a bit. So I'm gonna add cold water to it now because I need to do the next load, which aren't whites, which are colored. So I'm gonna add clean water into it, but it's going to be um, cold clean water so I can cool the temperature down a bit so I can do the colored clothes next. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the top back on. I'm going to put in just a little bit more powder, just a little bit. And let's switch it on. So now I'm gonna start adding the clothes for the next load.
go around properly because you don't want to overload it. Yep, that's enough. perfect temperature and now we're just gonna leave it do its thing okay now it's time for its second go
go. And that's that done. So it's done. It's two. It, it's twice cycle. So what I'm going to do now is to spin it and rinse it. Just going to take the top off. Now the water's a lot cooler now, so I can just use my hands to fill the spinner. Just making sure I balance them all as I put them in. That'll do for the first load for spinning. So again, I'm not going to have the water going back into the tub because I'm not going to do any more after this. This is the last one. So the first thing I'm going to do is just I'm just going to shut the lid and spin out. I'll come back to you when that's done. Let's put the mat in. Doesn't matter anyway. Uh, so it's done the first spin, so I'm going to switch it on for the rinse, switch it over to automatic, turn on the tap. And now shut the lid. Once it reaches a level of water on the inside, I think that's when it's going to kick in to start rinsing. I hope. Just making sure the power's still on. Yep, there we go. So now we're just waiting, keep an eye on the sink to make sure that all the water it's coming out clear and that's when it's done. I'll come back to you once it's done its automatic spin and win. There we go, it's final spin. Mm. I 
everything certainly does smell nice. And again, really rather just damp rather than wet. Okay, let's put the last lot in. Make sure we balance it all out. There we go, that's everything up to that. Give it its initial spin. Spin just sounds so much better than before. Turn on the tap for its rinse. Switch it over to automatic. Shut the lid. The noise you can hear is the other washing machine. I love that with the washing machine, it's so quiet. So the twin tub is still filling up with uh, rinse water. Once it reaches a certain level, then the spin will kick in. So just ignore the hot point. Oh, this is a hot point as well. So. Actually, you know that that is really weird. That is the first time I've actually realised that they're both hot points. Isn't that silly? Anyway, starting its automatic spin and rinse cycle.
Not the most to watch here, so I will come back to you when I've done that. It's only got a little bit of a load in it, but the spin is so quiet compared to what it was before I put the new belts and lubricated it today. It is so much quieter, it's unbelievable. So I'm just filling it up now for its final rinse. And I'm going to turn off the water. It's now set on normal spin, and we just close the lid. Here the machine now starting to ramp up. Been pumped out, so I wait until all the water is gone. I don't know, there's the last bits. Is the last bit of the loads done? So I'm just going to remove these clothes. Make sure I don't drop them back into the plumbing washing machine. And there we go, so that's the last of the washing done, and I'll show you how to pack this thing. Okay, so to empty it and everything is pretty simple. The first thing I need to do is put the head back on the um, of my tap in the sink. So I need to attach the end to this. And then you pop this end over the sink, but just to show you, if I switch it on...
that's how the water comes out through there. So I'm going to pop this over the sink. Put the cap on to stop any splashes and then turn it on. And that will now pump the water out into the sink. Okay, so I've taken out the paddle and I've taken out most of the water. So I've got my sink here. Turn it on. stops uh, sucking you just wait turn it off turn it back on comes back through the pump turn it off. Uh, what I do then is I just take a cloth, just wipe the whole area, leave the lids open. I normally leave it open for 24 hours and then pack it all away. So a bit of a long video, yes I know, but some of you like washing machines and to watch them and stuff so I thought I'd do it a bit comprehensive and uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, got lots more things coming up on the channel so I hope to see you all very soon thank you very much to uh, Rob and Paul for giving me this washing machine um, and the fun and enjoyment I get out of using it as well so thank you very much for you guys and everybody else all my subscribers a big thank you and I'll see you all soon bye bye